So for today, we're going to be looking at Felwinter's Helm. It got asked for not so long ago. And this one's pretty fun because I actually had a few avenues for this one. I could go with lore or I could go with whatever I wanted. And the lore one actually might be my favorite because it looks pretty cool. But yeah, if, uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. I'm going to be saying this until you guys start subscribing. So, I mean, you might as well just start subscribing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really like how a lot of these came out and let's just get into it. So Felwinter's Helm, it's really cool. I really like this helmet. I love the barbs in the front. I love the ghost in the back. I think that's metal as fuck. I love the horns in the back as well. It looks really cool. I, li I like the horn in the front, not gonna lie a little bit, but I do think the horns on the back is just way better. I also think it's really cool that the helmet at the top has like this weird, like facial look it almost looks like the helmet actually goes down to his face but overall i think the helmet looks really cool as for how it shaders it shaders really well i i think a lot of the colors are taken very well the only issues that i can see people having is the fact that the barb in the inside of the helmet do, does not change color so it's gonna stay that tint of like bronze gold it's gonna it's gonna stay that color the ghost in the back and the metal around the ghost does not change color as well so just be aware of that as for my first set that i made i really like the, the set that i made i ended up going with iron to steel for pretty much everything aside from the arms i will explain when we get to the arms but again i wanted to go for an iron banner look like an iron lord type feel which also made me realize man like we need more iron banner armor sets that have the old iron banner feel because i do like japanese themed armor don't get me wrong or the fallen themed armor that was really cool as well and when i say fallen themed armor i mean this specifically the new armor we got uh a few seasons ago uh because if i remember correctly it was designed by fallen i could be wrong uh but yeah that that armor the one with the the barnacles either way we need more I like old Iron Banner Lord armor. I want to see like I want to see us have like a chess piece that also has a cloak representing like Iron Lords because Iron Lords had cloaks. Specifically, look at uh, Lord Saladin. Dude has a cloak, but he's a Titan. I'd love to see that, even though we probably would never see that because cloaks is a a hunter thing. Even though it's just the whatever dog, whatever. So, for let's just talk about the armor before I get into a tangent. The arms, we're gonna be looking at the Light King gloves specifically because the fur looks really good. There is another fur arm that you'll see in the next one because I think the next one looks way better with it. But the Light King gloves specifically, I really like it. We're using the Amethyst Veil shader because the fur is actually not white. You, you could change its color with the shader. And Amethyst Veil was the best one that holds a white fur but still retains like a metal look for the actual armor. So that's why I chose Amethyst Veil. For the chest piece, we're using the Iron Banner. De yeah, the vanilla Destiny 2 Iron Banner armor, specifically because I feel like that's what he would be wearing. And of course, because of the fur, I think the fur is the, like really important for an Iron Banner Lord, an Iron Lord, I should say. For the boots, we're using the Celestial Boots just because I really like the fact that it's pointy at the bottom and the helmet's pointy, it just kind of makes sense. And then for the arms, we're using Nerwin's Iron Bond because I didn't want to use the vanilla look because I already have the vanilla look for the chest piece. So I decided to go with, with an ornament for that one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really like how this came out. I think it looks super, super cool. If I were to change one thing, it might be the actual helmet. I might actually just go with a blue shader or a green shader, I mean, and then maybe or maybe just like a black shader. But overall, I really like how this set came out. Definitely one of my favorite looks that I've made. But if I'm being quite honest, I think the next set is my favorite. And I apologize for the chess piece that I'm going to be using. As for the second set, we are using the Lycan robes again. I do apologize. I do use these a lot. Actually, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go back through all my old videos and see how much I have, but I feel like I'm only using like two to three videos. But I really like this one because it's just, it looks really good with the Felwinter's Helm because of the fur. Uh, for the arms, we're using the Kristen Kreen gloves because I really like the fur as well. The 
boots are going to be the Braytech Researcher boots because I really like how they look with these with the chest piece. And then for the Bond reason, the homeward, because I want I want I don't want anything on the arms to like take away from the chest piece. So I usually pair the homeward uh, Bond with the actual uh, light can robes because again, I really like how it just doesn't look like I'm wearing anything right there. So as you guys can see, this is how my Warlock should be looking in game or in the thing preview, whatever. And the reason I am showing you the lichen robes is because a, you don't have to just use the lichen robes. Let's go into another set that I made a while ago for my Instagram, which is the Valkyrian robes. So you can do something like this, which looks really cool. You won't get a lot of the boots, but I mean, at that point you're, you're going all in with the, with the uh, chest piece. So this one, the only thing I could tell you is pairing the fur right here to the fur right here. That would be the only problematic piece. But again, I have made a look for it on my Instagram, which I'll have right now. It's one of my favorite ones because it just looks like you're evil. It looks like you're an evil general. Uh, so you can pair it with this one. There's a lot of pieces you can pair this with. You can pair it with this because it also does have fur. And I do like how it it looks really good with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Again, there's a lot of things you can do with this helmet because it's so versatile. You can do something like this as well, which I had was thinking about using the, this, uh, this chest piece from Halloween last year, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the looks. Let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite look? I personally really like the first look because it is kind of lore specific. I say kind of because I should have used Felwinter's Guile for that because that's also an exotic he would wear. And if you want to be really, really technical, the vanilla Destiny 2 Iron Banner chest piece is not like lore specific. It's just more of a, it's Iron Banner. He's Iron Banner. It looks perfect. So if you wanted to be more lore specific, then we would have to actually know what he was wearing because I don't think we know what he wore at the time. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's just the one that looks the coolest to me. Uh, the second set does look really cool as well, but more of a casual, like I just, that's the rule of cool one for me. Usually the second one is usually rule of cool, which is just, just means I just want to look cool as fuck. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, if you guys want to see a preserved and exotic, I will add it to the list. The next one we're going to be doing is bombardiers, which is one I really, really love. And then from there, the first arc 3.0 video we're going to be working on is geomag. I already have a look for it. And I really, really like it. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.